Hey, this is Craig Allman. I thought I would just uh, spend a few moments here talking a little bit about our non-GMO corn at Cornelius. Uh, it's been, seems to be really picking up steam, I think especially, you know, with the uh, prices the way they are, input costs high and the uh, price for our commodities not so high. Um, we've seen to, seem to be getting a lot of interest in it, and I know people that haven't used it for a long time, one of the big questions is uh, weed control. So, if it's been a long time, you probably, um, you know, been using Roundup for years and years and the products that we have available now on the market for weed control maybe weren't even an option when you stopped uh, planting uh, non-GMO corn. So standing here in front of a field that we chopped silage off of, go ahead and we'll just uh, kind of look at this weed control here. It's paint you a really good picture because it's been, um, oh, it's been uh, three, four weeks here since we took the silage off so you can, really see, you know, there's nothing here in the soil as far as weeds go. And as we get in here to the plants, this is our 7235, which which was a top hybrid um, in the University of Wisconsin silage trials. So I plant the non-GMO version because I think my cows eat it better. Um, they've always seemed to like non-GMO corn better, whether it's dairy herds or the, or the beef herds. But as you can see, we have really good weed control here program that we're using here is a, a full rate of bicep two. So, you know, with Roundup, a lot of times we'll use foundation rates and non-GMO corn, uh, we'll use, uh, you know, the full rates to, because we really want to make sure we get as good a grass control as we can. And then coming back at the post applied, probably around B5, B6 with Armazon Pro in this case, which again is one of the newer high, uh, products that we have for weed control and non-GMO corn. Spike that up with a little extra Armazon uh, for some more residual, and then some infantry from FS, which is just their version of atrazine. And atrazine's always been a, a great addition to add in any mix. But we're just getting fabulous control. There's uh, various other options that you can be using um, that we'll probably talk about in some later videos. But this is just the example that I wanted to show you here today. And Cornelius, of course, anybody that uh, has has been using our products for a long time knows that we have a, a very long history of offering uh, conventional corn or non-GMO corn um, into the marketplace. And so our lineup, if anything, has gotten even stronger and better over the past half a dozen years or so. And we definitely have a, a full lineup if that's something that interests you in, uh, in the market that we're dealing in currently. Mm -hmm.